All right, we're back in our studio. So there's a function in the forecast package called Auto Arima, which will automatically fit what the best AR order, MA order, differencing order are for your data. But before we get to the, that fun step, what I want to do first is have us walk through how those ACF and PACF plots that we did last week help inform us and provide insights into the autocorrelation structure in our data in a way that directly ties into these ARIMA model uh, decisions that need to be made. So let's start by reminding ourselves on what those graphs actually look like for our NDVI data. So let's call from the forecast package the TS display function and give it, oh, correctly, let's give it our NDVI time series object. Run this. Let me expand this for you here a bit. Once again, what we have up top, this is our observed data here. On the left is that ACF function, and on the right is our PACF function. And if you remember from last time, we talked about how this signal here in the ACF tells us that a moving average, focusing on a moving average uh, model is a good place for us to start. And we know, let's find that lag of zero. So that lag of zero is here. So this is a lag of one here. Uh, and we know from this that maybe a moving average model of two isn't a bad place for us to start. So let's go over into our R script window. And now I'm going to create an object to store our model information in. I'm going to call it uh, MA2 for a moving average two model. Label this with the forecast package. And we're going to call a function called ARIMA. And to the ARIMA function, we are going to give our NDVI time series data, NDVI.TS. And now, because we are telling the computer what the model should be and not having the computer explore all the possible uh, iterations of, of ARIMA models, we need to tell it what orders we want each one of those components of an ARIMA model to be. So it needs to know what order the AR component, what order the I component, and what order the MA component we want it to fit. And so we are just fitting an MA2, which means that uh, we want to tell it to be a zero order for the non-MA components of the model. And we do that by telling it zero for an AR, zero for an I, and then two for an MA. If you get confused on like, oh, where do I put the AR order or the I order or the MA order? It's just in the exact order that's, that the acronym is, A-R-I-M-A. So now this, what I'm showing you here, is an ARIMA model of for a second order uh, moving average process. So let's run this. Now let's plot our data. And let's, on top of our data, now let's plot the model that is generated from that MA2 process and see how it compares to the actual data that, that we have. So we're gonna do that by uh, giving it up the lines command and saying fitted which is a function for pulling out the information on the fit of the model that was generated. We're going to give it our MA2 model that we saved. And to help it stand out, I'm in a balloon mood today. So let's do blue on that. And now that is much better than just having that average fit uh, that we showed earlier. We're picking up a lot of these spikes and wiggles in the data by just modeling the predictive component of that lagged error in the data. It's not perfect. Obviously, we have peaks here that are much higher than our model is predicting, and we definitely have lows that are much lower than our, our model predicts. Um, but this is still not, not a shabby way to start. We can also explore aspects of how the model is fitting um, by looking at the model summary. So summary of our saved model information in MA2. And if we look down in the console window, what we can see is that first, it tells us first that we have a ARIMA model with a second order moving average process with a non-zero mean. And then it tells us the information for the coefficients that were fit uh, as part of this model for the MA1 process and for the MA2 process. And so, and below that, it has information about uh, fit, including uh, AIC values, 
Uh, the next step with any model fitting is to do some diagnostics to see how well it's fitting um, and see if there's any signals of issues showing up in things like the residuals. So let's look at our residuals from this model and talk about, for a time series model, what we're hoping to see. So first, we're going to use a function from the forecast package called check residuals, residuals, and we're going to give it our model object, MA2. We're going to plot that. So first of all, on the top is our residuals from the model, which gives us a feel for how the model is uh, fitting the data, whether or not we're seeing systematic deviations from uh, the underlying model. The goal of a time series model is to extract all the autocorrelation that's in the data through these autoregressive and moving average components. And then, just like with time series decomposition, if we've pulled out all that autocorrelation, what should be left over are these residuals that should look like white noise, so completely uncorrelated residuals. When we look at the plot of the residuals here, it still has a bit of a cohesive structure to it, and that gets confirmed if we look down at our ACF plot, and we can see that we definitely still have these spikes that are occurring uh, at these longer time lags. And if we look at where these significant time lags are occurring, they're occurring at the 12, at the 24, at the 36 marks for the most part. And that's a seasonal signal. Well, we talked about this last week when we were looking at these autocorrelation functions. You can get these longer term correlations that emerge simply because summer comes every year and summer has a very particular signal that will erupt that will create an autocorrelation structure. Um, and so that's something that we haven't talked about yet, which is how do you incorporate a seasonal signal in an ARIMA model? We've talked about lags of one and two, not these longer annual scale cycles. So I'm going to pop into the whiteboard real fast, and I'll show you how we add a seasonal component to this uh, standard ARIMA model. 